Hello and welcome back to another match day vlog. This is a bit of a twist. Um, it's Swansea away, however, I'm in the home end. It's very similar to Reading away, uh, if you were around back then. The vlog did quite well, so you might have seen it. Um, if you haven't, go and check it out. Uh, it was quite good. We were in Basically, we're in hospitality in the home end at Swansea uh, today, as you'll see in this, but tomorrow as I'm recording this, I'm about to leave on the Saturday morning. We're going to go stay the night in Swansea, uh, meet a few mates, and then watch the game. So hopefully, we pick up a win. Um, yeah, I'm kind of confident. Swansea aren't great. They got pumped by Stoke in midweek as we beat Reading. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully we can pick up a win. It would be very nice. Um, we tend to do quite well over there actually in recent years. Also, we beat them the year Wyman scored really early on. I think that was 1-0 maybe. Um, the year after we lost, the year after that we won. That was last season. So yeah, hopefully we can pick up a result. I think it's like one and a half thousand City fans or something. We sold out the away end, whatever the allocation is. So that should be good. Hopefully I'll be able to get some good videos out. Sadly, I'm not in the away end, as I've already said. Uh, but yeah, we'll get into it. And here's a prediction from the real Jack Army, Darren. So yeah, hopefully we get the win. Come on, boys. Hello, it's the real Jack Army here um, on City Till I Die's Bristol City YouTube channel. And they're going for a 3-1 Swans win. Jamie Patterson, Corey Smith and Joel Pierre will score for the Swans and Simone to score for Bristol City. Upper Jack!
Lee, you used to play Bristol City, obviously, favourite Bristol City moment? Um, I would have to say the, the semi-final against Crystal Palace so, in the playoffs. Yeah. I think, you know, you looked at Ashton Gate that night and the noise that the, the crowd produced and, and just the magnitude of the game as well to get to Wembley was was unbelievable. So I'd have to say that's me. That's my favourite. Yeah, Crystal City a brilliant, a brilliant goal scored by you as well. See, the final didn't work out too well. Dean Wynn now scoring the winner for Hull. But, you know, we haven't got there yet. Swansea have. Thoughts on Swansea at the moment. Obviously, come back down since. Yeah, I think, you know, it's a transition period for Swansea at the moment. If you look at what they're trying to build, the new gaffer's come in and yeah. he's implemented a new style. So that's going to take a bit of getting used to. But, you know, hopefully in the next... Uh, next season or the one after that we can start trying to push up and get back in the Premier League obviously we had the last two years you know we got to the playoffs and then the playoff final so going in the right direction so hopefully they can get back to the Premier League which is the best league in the world for me yeah and obviously it's worked out today so yeah thanks for your time Lee thank you. and there we have it thank you to Lee Trundle for giving me a few minutes to do that interview uh, he was absolutely brilliant uh, I'll link his Instagram down in the description it's, it's Lee Trundle I think we all know who he is you're either a Swansea fan or a City fan watching this, you know who Lee Trundle is. Anyway, um, performance-wise today, not so amazing, was it? Swansea took their chances, to be fair. They were all right. Um, we were pretty poor. Swan second half, Swansea were much better than they were in the first half. First half, we were much better than we were in the second half. Um, but, yeah, we had a few chances that we should have taken. Pring had one that I'm not entirely sure how he didn't score. It might have been offside in the end. Um, O'Leary's got off injured, which isn't ideal, but, I mean, Ben needs... Obviously very good. It'll be nice to see him back in the team after a little bit of a spell out. O'Leary, I don't think he was great today. He wasn't horrific, but he wasn't amazing either. Uh, City fans were decent. Swansea fans were quite good as well, to be fair. Um, I wasn't expecting them to be allowed, as loud as they were. But yeah, overall, it was an alright performance. And we roll on to Borough next week, I guess. It's 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 loss. It's It wasn't awful. It wasn't good. Zach Bottner was pretty poor again today, as per usual. Um, sorry, Zach, if you're watching, which I very much doubt you are. But, um, yeah, we were great. But, oh, well, we move on to Middlesbrough in the week. Like, share, subscribe, all of that. Check out the socials, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.